So I think the most difficult experiences for me have tended to be if I've been coming into something with maybe not that substantial a part, um, so, so therefore not being on set with the crew a lot and that lack of familiarity with the crew. Um, because I think the biggest hurdle for, for a lot of actors is, is getting past your own self-consciousness to be able to play the character in the scene purely without your own stuff being in the way. Um, and I've always found that more difficult when I'm only in for a day here or a day there. Whereas if you're there all the time with the crew, you know them, it's very natural. And, um, and it did take me years to get past that. And I think I still have moments of it. There is this Declan Donnellan book called The Actor and the Target, and he says this wonderful thing about um, when an actor becomes self-conscious, it's because they are conscious of the self. They are thinking about themselves within the scene. And it really applies to theatre, but, but it works brilliantly for screen, is that if you take that, you focus on the target. So you focus on the character that you're trying to talk to in the scene. You focus on the object that you're talking about. You talk about, you, you focus on your objective. You focus outside of yourself. And it sort of takes away that feeling of, oh, the camera is watching me and I'm aware of it and that, that horrible thing. But I think it is a sort of ongoing process. And I think the, the biggest piece of advice I could give for that is to, when you go on to set, introduce yourself to everybody, say hi, have a chat. Like, you're not separate from them. Trying to create a separation between cast and crew makes for bad work, I think. Um, I think it works best when everybody's in it together so even if you're only in for a day go in shake people's hands offer them a cup of tea have a chat ask them where they're from to, you know talk about dogs whatever you need to do so that you're comfortable with that person that's shooting you